Hey everyone, this is Adam from Ads Productions with a quick overview of what Chrome extensions I use. I just thought I'd make this quick video just to show you which ones I use, what they're called, briefly how they work, just so you get an idea of my daily Chrome environment, I suppose. So sit back and enjoy. This shouldn't take too long, so here we go. First up is the productivity extension known as Focus 45. This essentially is a button that when clicked will block certain websites for 45 minutes or a length specified as you can see on the screen now. So all you do there is you can just change it to 20 minutes for example. The unlock allowance so when you click unlock you can access the blocked websites for that period of time. So obviously when you're happy with your settings go ahead and click the button and a timer will count down 3, 2, 1 and then your websites that you have in the list will then be blocked until you disable it. So as you can see on the screen I've now clicked the application when it's running so then you can add a site to block. You've obviously got some pre-installed ones like Reddit, Twitter, Facebook. So for this example, just to show you it in use, I'm going to load up the bbc.com website. I'm then going to add bbc.com and .co.uk to the filters list, just so that I can show you a before and after of the blocking process. That's bbc.com added. Now we add bbc.co.uk. Now they're both added. Let's refresh the page. And there we go. It says you have 20 minutes left of focus. And if you really want to access bbc.com, all you have to do is type in a little code below. This is just meant to put a blockade in front of your actual access so that if you really need to access it you can for an allowed five minutes or the time that you specified earlier on just like that and there we go as you can see after typing in the code it's now given me five minutes worth of access to bbc.co.uk even though it's in my block list the next application that i'm going to demonstrate is called images images is basically a way to hover over an image on a website which will then expand this image to allow you to see it in a much bigger format which in theory doesn't sound like it would be that useful but when browsing websites such as Wikipedia and Reddit you can literally hover over a link and it will then expand that link into an actual preview window so that you don't actually have to click on the link just hover over it. The next Chrome extension I'm going to show you seems a little bit too good to be true but believe me it's not. It's called QME spelled Q-M-E-E -E. Essentially what this does is when you're browsing Google, Google will actually take note of what you're searching for. And if a relevant search term comes up, in this example used cars, you'll see on the left hand side, QME opens up with various advertisement links for you to click on, along with their value in terms of pennies in Great British Pounds. So you can see if I click the top link it will give me 7p, and the next one 7p, and all of them 7p in fact. You're basically being paid to click a link. Usually these links aren't spammy, they're literally you just click them, it will take you to the advertised page, and then at the top right corner of the page you will actually notice a piggy bank that gets full up. As you can see throughout my random Google searches I've accumulated 0 0.74 pounds, and this is all I'm doing is googling random stuff that I want to google obviously, and then up comes a little pop-up window to the left and I get free money. When you click on the extensions icon at the top right hand corner and request to withdraw your money, you'll then be taken to QME's dashboard in which you can see your total savings and the way that you want to cash out. You can also view your QME history, which obviously mine is a massive amount of money, £0.84. Again, on the dashboard you can also cash out using the cash please button. All you do, you click cash please, type the amount you want, Boom, it's in your PayPal. A specified amount, all my rewards, cash out. Are you sure? Yep, let's go for it. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy your free money. Readability is the next extension we're talking about. And it pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. So take a large chunk of text in the example we're going to use now. We're going to go back to Wikipedia, tried and tested. So let's say we select this whole mass of text here. We right click and then go to readability you can then choose to either translate the whole page into a readable mode or select it all for a new tab or a new window or send it to your kindle and things like that so if we do a new tab for example you can see it takes all of the text from the wikipedia page and puts it in a format that's very very easy and friendly on the eyes to read so let's just put them side by side so you can see a comparison as you can see on the left wikipedia Although they do have a very readable format, it's not as readable as a very basic level on the right hand side. 
Again, that's readability for you. Nothing more than that. Just a way of formatting the text on a website into a friendlier and easier to read version. VidIQ Vision for YouTube. This application is pretty interesting as I've only had this for a few days, but so far I'm liking it quite a lot. So let's open up a video on the front page. On the right hand side you immediately notice a box that contains various statistics and results regarding the total views, the views per hour and other things like this. It's really good if you just want to glance over and look at the trending analysis of it. However, it does ask you to pay if you want to use the more advanced features such as historical analysis. So here's one to look out for in the future. So there we have it. Those are some interesting Chrome extensions I have. Obviously there are some more but I just thought I'd highlight some of the key interesting ones rather than just bore you with Adblock Plus for example. Thanks for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions with another technology video. Please subscribe, plenty more videos to come. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again.